I, 25M, want to go on a holiday with friends once a year but my girlfriend, 23F, feels miserable if I do so. Hash 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 hash. Update 1. I have had another talk with my girlfriend after things settled from last night's discussion. Like some of you suggested, emotions ran quite high. I have been able to use your advice to better map the problem we're facing. It seems clear now that the issue is indeed that she dislikes her, solo, life when I am not around and she tries to escape it by keeping herself busy when I am away. She does not have another person she can confide in like she can with me. I have told her that it is obvious that I am the person she likes to get emotional support from but that it is not a task for me to bear alone. I've made it clear that it is too much burden to carry for a single person and that she should not be dependent solely on me. When I confronted her with the fact that I should be a nice extra on top of an already happy life, she told me that indeed she did not feel good when she is alone. We've established that the problem is not me being away, but her being alone. Right now I am just happy I have said what I wanted to say, she was happy about me being honest with her. She understands that it is not healthy to be emotionally dependent on me alone but at the same time is scared because I told her it's not a burden I can carry. I think it all boils down to her having to find her own person within the relationship, and learning to deal with herself in different situations including ones where I am not around. I really want to thank you for your responses so far, if there's any update I will post it here. Hash 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 hash. Recently me and my girlfriend of two years, living together for, one year, have had quite a lot of arguments around the fact that I like to go on vacations with friends. My girlfriend and I have a really good and trusting relationship, we talk a lot about almost everything with each other and we both don't back away from hard talks. We've had issues in the past, but we mostly come to a good in-between solution on him and move on. But this one, we can't seem to crack. Some context, friends always have been very important to me. I have quite a lot of them, split up between different groups. When I have had issues with previous relationships or other life problems, I could always rely on my friends to catch me when something goes sideways. For my girlfriend this is different, she has only about 2-3 real friends, and really only one she can confide in when something's up. She mostly goes to her parents for those kinds of situations but says even they don't quite understand her or only come up with solutions instead of just listening. Furthermore, she's an only child and I have an older brother and younger sister who I love to hang out with. We've had a long talk yesterday resulting in her admitting that she thinks the only one who really, sees, her and listens to her is me. Which, I can imagine, can be frustrating at times. Now a few months ago the topic came up that two of my friends, she's met before, would like to go on a surfing trip together for two weeks end of June. Meanwhile my girlfriend and I had already planned a holiday of three weeks in August. When I brought the surfing trip up, she got very emotional and couldn't understand why I'd want to spend so much time without her. Her being at home with nothing to do essentially while I am away having a fun time with friends, it seemed to sting her quite a bit. We've had a discussion which lasted till late at night, I understood her viewpoint and for her it's obviously not really a fun situation for me to be away for so long, and her being home alone struggling to fill the time. So I think I made a reasonable concession by cutting the trip to one week and at the time she seemed fine with this decision. She felt one week wouldn't be so bad, and we left it at that. Now the trip is in about a month and since I have been invited to a few other events of which two also happen in June before the trip. Nothing big, just a day of card gaming with friends and a concert with a mate of mine. Mentioning the latter yesterday seemed to trigger my girlfriend to think about all the times I will be away. Now I know that she doesn't like it when I bring up events which she is not a part of, so I do feel a little bad when I do so. Also I have had a pretty toxic relationship before in which I could not plan anything without my ex getting angry so I always feel some resistance bringing stuff like this up. We both know she's working on the fact that she doesn't like when I am away. Sometimes even a night I planned with mates seems too much for her, but other nights she's fine. But she says she thinks there are a few limits she really struggles with. Me being away for more than a day at a time is one of them she just can't wrap her head around. For her it's a fait accompli slowly creeping toward her, nothing she can do about it. The problem seems to be part jealousy and part FOMO. She says she doesn't like it when I do all those things with friends because she'd rather I do them with her and that she really wants to be happy for me when away, but can't feel it like I can the other way around. Furthermore she hates being home alone having nothing to do. We've found out that if she's distracted with other stuff, it's easier for her to be alone. For instance when she has a busy school week when I am away, she just focuses on that. 
but if she has the week off while I am away, she struggles way more to keep herself busy. Now we're really looking for a way to deal with this problem. To us it doesn't seem like an issue to be breaking up over, because the rest of the relationship seems to work fine. Your average Wednesday so to speak is wonderful and nothing to be upset about. So we're looking for a way we can both be happy while I am away, me not thinking about her feeling miserable when I'm gone, and her feeling okay while I'm from home. I don't have the need to be away for more than a week each year, but I'd like for it to be something I can keep doing. Too long did not read. My girlfriend feels miserable when I am away from home for longer than a few days at a time while doing fun stuff without her being present. We've talked about it a lot but don't seem to be able to come up with a solution that suits us both. She needs her own life. You can't live your life being everything to her. I don't think it's jealousy of FOMO, she doesn't have the rich and varied connections in her life that you do and as such is a bit lost without you. She needs to try and vary her hobbies, focus on herself more basically in order to find things and people she can vibe with. I feel bad for her it's hard to socialize and build friendships as an adult. Op I'm your girlfriend in this situation. I would advise her to look into codependency and attachment theory. I relate to your girlfriend in that I don't have many close friends. I've worked to have them over the years, but how I was raised and a number of events have given me real trust issues in relationships. And I don't mean trusting a boyfriend. I mean trusting friends and family. If you care about her, then know she's on a tough journey. There are things I need to learn that most people did when they were like 13 or 14. Not sure if that's exactly her situation but if she doesn't have close friends then I suspect she missed something along the way of her life and probably isn't sure how to create friendships now. Hope she's willing to try this path, though. She can only benefit from it. I think a very real question to ask is how the relation a hip, when you're there, hampers her ability to make friends and be social. I am not saying you do it consciously, or that the problem is your behavior. What I know from personal experiences is that invitement in a relationship, family has a negative effect on how people socialize and sustain friendships. Expecting that she has a plug and play social network the minute you're not around is very unrealistic. On some more minor level, I kind of am your girlfriend and I can confidently say that the issue is not you doing your own thing. Both she and I need to learn more ways to be comfortable and happy when our significant others are busy or just having a good time without us. It's nothing personal and deep down we want our partners to have fun and not worry. It just sounds like she's lonely and a little depressed, but luckily this is something she can work on by making new friends and developing new hobbies. Somewhat related make sure that she wants to be with you and isn't your girlfriend because she'd rather not be alone. This was a surprisingly pleasant and mature series of events. I have no advice or questions or anything, just wanted to say good on you and everyone giving advice. What a refreshing change of pace.